What's up, What's up guys? Uh, I'm gonna do another cigarette review. There's a couple people are recommending me stuff, and I got Newport shorts right here. Um, I always smoked these a lot these past couple years, but I kind of stopped recently because I, I kind of want to quit, and um, it's kind of harsh the more you do it. Because when I smoked these a lot, I used to get like a bad cough a lot if I chain smoked so much, you know. And, um, yeah, th these are strong. I think these are pretty strong cigarettes right here. But you can tell by the smell, it's got a lot of the tobacco smells pretty, it's got a little stench to it. So, it will light it up. Did I, I feel a, a good um, harshness in this, you know what I mean? It's more harsher than like the Mavericks that I just reviewed. It's got more smoke when you like suck it in, you know? Um, yeah, like you just, like these cigarettes right here usually burn fast for me. Newport shorts are very fast burning, you know? Like, if you want to get a different Newport brand, like, Newport 100s are longer, but they burn slower. You know, they have a kind of a, it's weird, they, they have the same packaging, I don't think they taste the same, but Newport 100s are different than, like, the shorts. I think the 100s are even harsher than these, so... Yeah, I'll say it's got a good body to it. You can just tell the, the smoke, and you can kind of taste it like that, dude. I can taste the back on this thing bad. You know, it's got a lot of more menthol -y taste. You know, I'm more of a menthol guy, so I think it tastes pretty good, you know. But the more you smoke these, though, you, they can be pretty harsh, dude, in my opinion. One time I was at a bar, and you're allowed to smoke... It was like crowds of people in a college bar and like I would be smoking, like chain smoking all these like two packs of these and like I overdid it and I was coughing up blood or something. So I had to slow down. It was probably because like it was my, I haven't smoked Newports that much back in the day and I would be smoking more of the 27s, the Southern Cuts. Um, uh, I think I smoked like Marlboro Edge too. I'll review those later coming up, but yeah, th this is more harsher in my opinion, these Newports. <sighs> Has a lot of nicotine in this one right here. Like, I would get kind of, like when I switch to like lighter smokes, like I, I feel more withdrawal if I don't fucking smoke these. You know, I'm trying to get away from this, but it's pretty good. <laughs> like cigarette though taste wise the body um it just you could see how like how fast it's like like burning you'll be going through these a lot dude if you smoked a whole pack they burn really fast and they're pretty expensive too up in my area they're like they used to have been like uh 850 or 820 or something like that a couple years ago now they're like 950 now dude these things are expensive these new ports you know what i mean but they're pretty good though the flavor and shit like that it's just more harsh to smoke like if you're doing smoking your first time i don't it but if you're doing it your first time i wouldn't recommend these your first time because they're pretty harsh, dude, in my opinion. I would start with lighter smoke. Like Marlboro Lights, uh, the Ma non methyl Mavericks, um, maybe like L&M Reds, something like that. Cause these are, these are harsh. That's just my opinion. And the more, and if you take a break from this here, from Newports, and you switch on a different pack, and <clears throat> you start smoking these again, like, you've, you taste more of the menthol flavor when you take a break. You taste more of the flavor than when you are like hooked on them. You know, cause when I smoked a lot of Newports, 
all the time, like, I wouldn't even taste the flavor anymore. I would just, like, smoke it, you know? But when you take a break, you kind of taste the flavor in, in some way, you know? So, yeah, like, it, see the difference with this filter, though? Like, it's, it's a little longer than, uh, a lot longer than the uh, non-methyl Maverick. I don't know why it is like that, but that's just how it is, I guess. Um, yeah, they're pretty good, though, the new ports. Like, I'm not really good with reviews. I'm not, like, an ex expert, expert with this stuff, but they say they're pretty good. So, um, I guess you want the, the young guy wants me to hold it a certain way hold it like this like a blunt or a joint you know i used to do this when i in the beginning when i first started smoking cigarettes because i used to i smoked weed first before i started and i would always hold it like this it's more uncomfortable if i pay because i think it's better when you hold it like this because you get more of a grip when you hold when you smoke and this is just a weird grip it's just it's not the same it, I feel like, like, say if you're bumped into somebody and you're holding it like this, you're going to drop it right away. But when you're holding it like this here, like, you would still be able to hold it because you got a good, fine grip. And when you're holding a cigarette, you want to hold it at the end of, like, the filter. You know what I mean? Or a little bit past it. That's how I usually do it. So if you hold it, like, over here, you're going to burn yourself. You know, so, yeah, I, I prefer holding it like this. I always held it like that. Um, yeah, I, I think it's a good flavored cigarette for menthol, dude, so. All right, I, I guess my upcoming cigarette review, so I'm gonna, like, do, uh, Marble 27s, um, Southern Cuts. Those are the ones I usually liked in the beginning when I first started. Um, Edge. Maybe I'll try Marble Ice. I did that one time. It was alright, Marble Ice. That was like a new pack a couple years ago. Um, I'll do Marble Blacks. I don't like them that much. They're pretty harsh, but I'll review them. Marble Reds. Maybe the whole cigarette aisle. I don't know, dude. So I'll catch you guys with another video, though.